Welcome back to Ghost Pirate Entertainment. I'm your host, Kanan Becker, and today we do another deep dive into Shudder. And let's get to the list. Peace. Unwelcome is a 2023 folk horror movie directed by John Wright and co-written by Wright and Mark Stay. It stars Hannah John Kamen, Douglas Booth, and Colm Meany. A married couple escape their urban nightmare to the tranquility of rural Ireland, only to discover malevolent, murderous goblins lurking in the woods. Every evening before sunset, she'd leave a blood offering here. Sorry, did you say blood? For who? For the Red Cups. So this movie is so much fun. And it's frustrating because I saw the trailer for this a long time ago. And it seemed like it was going to be in theaters. And I don't know what happened, but from the time this movie was shot and did its circuit at the film festivals, I don't know what happened. But for some reason, it had this long delay. And I kept wondering, when is this movie going to come out? And it really never made even a peep. It just was eventually released VOD and that was about it. But now it's on Shudder and I really hope it gets more support because this is the kind of movie I love, especially when it comes to indie stuff because it just ramps up little by little. It's got humor, it's got gore, it's wild and beautifully shot. I mean, this movie is wonderfully shot. It just looks incredible. It doesn't look like a little cheap indie movie that you would generally see on Shudder or, or whatever. This is definitely a bigger budget kind of film. And that's why I just don't understand However, once I got to the end of this movie, I started to kind of understand because I think this is a little much for most mainstream audiences. And so even though originally it was probably made to be a more mainstream kind of film, once you had its finished product and you started getting test screenings and people like the masses were like, what in the hell is this? You know, this is probably why it ended up on Shutter, but that's all the better for us horror fans, right? You could just go over to Shutter right now and watch it and don't have to spend a bunch of money to rent it or a bunch of money in a theater. But I'm telling you, this movie is wild and just gotta hang with it because it doesn't come at you right away. But once it gets there, it is well worth the wait. From Black is a 2023 horror movie. Directed by Thomas Morchese, it stars Anna Camp, John Ailes, and Jennifer LeFleur. A recovering drug addict, desperate for closure and saddled by crushing guilt, is presented with a bizarre offer to learn the truth about what happened and set things right. There is a way to get them back. Back from where? Wherever it is they go. I was absolutely blown away by this movie. It's so impressive. It's dark and disturbing, uncomfortable, well shot, directed, the acting, everyone involved in this, just their performances are so, so well done. But this is a bleak, dark, very disturbing type of horror movie. It's not one that's like just going to be fun, just a fun little spooky horror movie for your Friday night kind of thing. No, this is one that's going to get to you, stick with you, get under your skin and just make you uncomfortable. And the evil that's presented in this movie, it's done in such a way, the, the sound of it and just the way it's shot. I don't want to get into too many spoilers, but trust me when I say it just made me feel dirty and uneasy. I think this movie's incredible. And to be honest, it's in contention for one of my best movies of the year. So if you have yet to check this one out, I highly, highly recommend it. Maybe we should stop. We can't stop. I need you to be driven. A Dark Song is a 2016 Irish-British horror drama. Written and directed by Liam Gavin, it stars Catherine Walker and Steve Oram. 
A determined young woman and a damaged occultist risk their lives and souls on a dangerous ritual that will give them what they want. And may all my transgressions be washed. My transgressions. This is real stuff we're playing with. Real angels, real demons. So I recommended this one not too long ago when it was over on Tubi, and unfortunately right after I recommended it, Tubi pulled it off there. I just don't always know when a movie is going to leave that platform. So that's part of the reason why I'm recommending it again is because it's over on Shutter and it's just dropping at the time you're seeing this video. But the other reason that it's on this list is I think it makes for a perfect double feature with From Black. They're both just cut from the same cloth. There's a lot of similarities, but by the end, they're both very different films. Like they go in different directions, but they definitely have a lot of the same things in common. They both have the same, just really dark, uncomfortable, brutal evil that just is, it's like corrupted in the film. And once again, just like from Black, this one, the performances are incredible as well. Like I said, they're very similar films. They both have a man and a woman doing a ritual to try to get something they want, but both are just so good and do go in different directions. But this is wonderfully written. It's directed phenomenally. It just has this creeping up on you pace where it just slowly gets more and more consuming until it just completely pulls you in to this dark, evil place that this movie is written from. This is another incredible movie that is absolutely a must watch. It ignites something in us that makes us feel alive. Sharksploitation. Sharksploitation is a 2023 documentary written and directed by Steven Scarlatta with featured guests such as Roger Corman, Joe Dante, Rebecca McKendry, and lots more. The documentary examines the sharksploitation subgenre, which centers on sharks and shark attacks. Sharksploitation. It's because of Jaws. Shark craze, which has gripped America. Suddenly society developed this massive fear of sharks. If you're a fan like I am of cheesy shark movies, as well as the great ones like Jaws and Deep Blue Sea and, and the very few other great shark movies that there are, Mostly, they're cheesy and fun, but if you're a fan of just the whole shark exploitation subgenre that's popped up in the last decade or so, then you'll love this because it really goes deep into these different movies and, and how all of this became what it is. Like, why is there so many cheesy shark movies that are made for basically nothing and are just so bad they're good that we love to hate on. It just really goes into depth on why that is and it has interviews from so many different people, actors, directors, people that make those movies as well as people that admire those movies. So if you enjoy documentaries and things that just go behind films and kind of tell more of, of why they are the way they are and how they got made and all that kind of fun stuff, then this is absolutely a can't miss. Says who? Brooklyn 45 is a 2023 period supernatural thriller written and directed by Ted Gagan. It stars Anna Ramsey, Jeremy Holm, and Ezra Buzzington. Five military veterans who have been best friends since childhood gather together to support their troubled hosts, and the metaphoric ghosts of their past become all too literal. What the hell is that? Don't you dare get up. What? We have to end the seance before we break the circle. This was probably the biggest surprise on this list because I hadn't heard a whole lot about it. I didn't know literally anything whatsoever about it. I hadn't seen a trailer. I just watched it completely blind, which is something I like to do a lot of times on Shudder. It's just fun to, to put on whatever their new movies are and watch them without knowing anything at all about them. So first of all, the cast in this is brilliant because the whole movie really just takes place in this one room but it never feels that way at all because of all their performances. Everything from fear, pain, sadness, grief, like it's the gambit of emotions that every one of them at some point expresses. On top of that, the special effects that are done here are done really well. They're not like over the top. There are a few moments here and there, but a lot of it is a little more subtle, but really well put together. 
Now this is a small movie, so it's kind of important to keep that in mind. Don't expect too much from it. For the most part, it's a dialogue movie, but it deals with some really sensitive subjects, especially stuff that was prevalent in World War II. It goes places with some language and things that you just rarely ever see movies have the balls to do, but in context with what this movie's trying to say and what's actually happening, I think it's well done and very poignant. I think this is a great indie horror gem that is absolutely worth your time. And the dead come to life. I've never heard anything like that. The Dunwich Horror is a 1970 supernatural horror movie. Directed by Daniel Haller, it stars Sandra D, Dean Stockwell, and Ed Begley. A man travels to Arkham University to borrow the legendary Necronomicon, but little does anyone know he isn't quite human. Come back, old one. So Shudder just recently added a bunch of HP Lovecraft stuff, and this is one that I hadn't seen in quite a while. The others I have seen and talked about, you know, like From Beyond and whatever, but this one I'd seen, but it had been a number of years, so I figured I'd give it a rewatch. And it really holds up. This is one of my favorite of the HP Lovecraft films out there. And the fact that this is from the late 70s give it a lot of charm too. There's just something so great about films from that era. Especially when they do with the cult and witchcraft and just evil whatever. Because the way that's shown is kind of funny in a way because it is a little silly. But it also just has this kind of really cool, elegant style about it. And this movie does this really fun thing. It's why I did my lights this way, where there's these bright, flashing, you know, colorful lights whenever it wants to show impact of something. And I just love that. I, stylistically, in general, it isn't necessarily scary or evil but it's a lot of fun to see and just feel a movie like this. And I was recently sent this shirt from Ralph, who's one of the channel members, and I just love it. I think it's an amazing shirt, but it also felt perfect to shoot this video with because of talking about an HP Lovecraft movie and Shudder just adding quite a few other ones. So even if this one isn't your jam, there are a few other ones and they're all great movies, ones that I really enjoy. If you've never seen this one, I think you'll enjoy it. So definitely check it out. It's the most important thing. Spoonful of Sugar is a 2022 horror thriller directed by Mercedes Bryce Morgan with a script by Leah St. Marie. It stars Morgan Saylor, Kat Foster, and Miko Olivier. A disturbed babysitter experiences a sexual awakening while using LSD to treat a seemingly sick child from a family with dark secrets. You look young for your age. People aren't always as they seem, Mrs. Michaels. This is a colorful, twisted, bizarre film. It really goes in different directions than I expected it to and becomes a very different film in general than I thought it was going to. But it's well performed and directed and I love the cinematography, the way it's shot. Just the photography in general is really creative. It reminded me in some ways of the movie May where there's just this really twisted individual that the movie kind of focuses on and you're never quite sure what's really happening because this person is not quite right in the mind. So some of the things that are happening may or may not actually be what's really taking place. And so where this movie ultimately ends up is very surprising, but I think it's a dark, creative, uncomfortable film that really is worth checking out. House LLC is a 2015 found footage horror movie. Written and directed by Stephen Cognetti, it stars Alice Balk, Kristen Michelle Taylor, and Danny Bellini. Five years after an unexplained malfunction causes the death of 15 tour goers at a Halloween haunted house tour. And now a documentary crew travels back to the scene of the tragedy to find out what really happened. Sarah, have you watched those? No. <laughs> So you have no idea what's on them. How beautiful is this? Hell House.
This is one that's a perfect pick for Halloween. And here we are in August, so it's not quite there yet, but I do start celebrating Halloween, at least me personally, and on the channel in September. So expect some fun coming up in just a couple weeks. But I couldn't help it. I saw this there. It had been a while since I had seen it. So I put it on to see if it still holds up. And it really does. I mean, this movie is absolutely one of the best found footage movies ever made, especially for such a small budget with a lot of young people. It's so impressive what they were able to pull off with this. Because for a found footage movie, this gets really creepy at times, uncomfortable. Because there are scenes with me, even knowing what's gonna happen, they still caught me. Just the, the way they look, the way things unfold, the pacing that it's done, it you can't help it, but just feel sucked in. It feels absolutely real. And I also really like the way that it's done, that there's this found footage, but then there's this documentary crew that are trying to piece it all together using this found footage. It just makes a lot of sense. It felt much more natural than a lot of times where it's like, you're just watching this found footage with no context. This gives it that and explains why you're watching it. So if you're in the mood to kind of escape the end of summer for a couple hours and feel that Halloween vibe, this is an amazing pick. To be a monster. That was you should You've got blood on your hands now. What? You've got blood on your hands. You should wash them. Let the Wrong One In is a 2021 Irish comedy horror movie. Written and directed by Connor McMahon, it stars Carl Rice, Anthony Head, and Eon Duffy. When Matt's brother becomes part of the growing vampire problem in Dublin, he must decide between saving him or slaying him. Wait a sec, you've been beaten on the neck. You're allergic to sunlight. And you don't like the garlic fries. I think I told you. So this is a super low budget, just really corny, but funny as hell in a campy, goofy way kind of horror movie. This is the kind of movie to kind of turn your brain off and just have fun with. In some ways, it reminds me of the film Dead Alive, just with that over the top gore, over the top campy kind of humor, but done with passion and love. You could just tell everyone involved really gave it everything they had. So I think this movie is so fun and one to definitely put on your list. in a box. Popcorn is a 1991 slasher horror movie. Directed by Mark Harrier, it stars Jill Sholin, Tom Ballard, and Tony Roberts. A master of disguise, deranged killer, begins killing off college students who are organizing a horror movie marathon in an abandoned theater. There's something happening here that I've been looking for all of my life. There's smoke. Someone takes her hand. She's running. The same man comes towards her. So last week we were watching a classic horror movie live. I do that on Mondays, at least as many as I can. We'll watch an old, you know, copyright free horror movie. And it came up in conversation about the old 50s movies that had all the gimmicks. The fun ones with the like zapping in the seat like the tingler or the smell of vision, you know, fun stuff like that. And it reminded me of this brilliant movie. And it wasn't until recently that I saw this for the first time. It was on the last drive-in with Joe Bob Briggs. He featured this movie and they talked about it. And I fell in love with it immediately because it has that late 80s, early 90s vibe going on, one of those kind of slashers. But then it also has this whole fun narrative of the old classic movie theaters and the movies from the 50s. It has this fun way of just mixing the two. So for anyone that enjoys those old 50s classics, as well as the 80s and 90s slashers, this is one you'll have a lot of fun with. So do yourself a favor this weekend, pick one of the movies off of this list and get your popcorn and your candy and enjoy. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for watching this. And if you enjoyed this, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button and ding that little bell because that is the best way to keep track of this channel. And when I post videos like this, and I post videos like this every single week. I also want to give a huge, massive, enormous thank you to the Ghost Pirate crew, to you guys over on Patreon, and to the channel members over here. You guys mean so, so much to me. And if you would like to find out how you can help support the channel over on Patreon, there's a link 
down in the description. Or if you want to become a channel member, there's a button right down there that says join. But like always, thank you so much for watching. Please crush that like button. And remember, guys, horror can be fun. And if you enjoyed this, click right here to watch my most recent review over on my new second channel. And I'll see you guys next time.